Welcome back and this is for another full lap and test and this time we are in another one of the offer vehicles which is the Buffalo EVX. Now if you saw my review on the Nebula Turbo you will see that I don't pull my punches. Oh sorry. I'm not going to restart that for reasons you'll find out. I don't pull my punches on these reviews, but I will say, come back, Nebula Turbo, all is forgiven. Because this $4 million car, and yeah, you heard that right, I'll go through that in a second. This $4 million car isn't good enough to lick the boots of the Nebula Turbo. This thing is an absolute festering stinking turd and no one should buy it for any reason ever and I'm not even going to restart for that either I'm just going to do this lap and then upload it and hope this is enough to convince all of you to save your money right so why do I hate this thing so much and it's not because it's an EV I am not a de facto EV hater. Um, I actually drive an EV in real life and I love it. Um, so no, I'm not a de facto EV hater. I hate this because it's an incredibly bad EV, an incredibly bad car. And I actually, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to count all the accidents on this lap. So there we go. Town handling, zero. Zero out of ten. It doesn't handle. It's like uh, a barge. You just the left thumbstick if you're on console. You just use that to generally influence the direction you'd like it to sort of head in, and it will sort of head in that direction. It's not so much steering as such. It's more like um, an implied direction. Now it is quite quick off the mark, being an EV it is quite quick off the mark, um, so I will give it some some props there, and we'll just whiz around here and see what the downforce is like, I'm not expecting much. The downforce itself isn't terrible, it isn't exactly good, but, but I can't say it's, it's terrible, so I think I have to give it a 3, a 3 out of 10 for downforce, it's certainly not good, but there is at least some there, we'll just we'll just get around Cliff Yee Corner and then we'll start talking about the other reasons why I hate this car. That's surprisingly okay. So first of all, the handling. We know the handling is terrible. Second of all, the cost. And earlier in the video, I said $4 million. Now, it is on offer this week. I believe it's 40% off. So if you really must have it, then only buy it this week with the 40% off. Because so normally... Oh, dear me. Sorry. Bear with me. Let me just pick my way through here. Normally, this thing will set you back 2.2, just under $2.2 million. Then on top of that you have the um, HSW upgrade which from memory I will have to check but I believe it's uh, around another million a million and a half for this one it's one of the ones that came out with the uh, mercenaries update and all the HSW upgrades for those cars are quite expensive then you've got all your Imani tech upgrades on top so you can see this is an armored vehicle so that that does give it a bonus it can tank a few rockets it does have a um, lock-on jammer so as a free mode car it has some redeeming features but as a fast drivable car it's just terrible uh, we're coming up to the top speed test um, in a second if I can get around there right so I'm sure hopefully most of you will know but the way we do this two points on the road are exactly a mile apart I drive between those two points, uh, time it separately, measure it, and that gives you the 
the measured top speed which may be lower than the stated top speed um, because obviously we put downforce on them which adds drag which slows them down so here's the finish line under the sign I did well to actually hit that car after the finish line And those crashes weren't deliberate, that's just what the handling on this thing is. There's like a, almost a delay when you try to flick it. Like some cars you have to throw them around, but this you have to plan so far in advance because it doesn't react anywhere near quickly enough. And then it oversteers. Right, so we're coming up to the last bit now. So now we'll just talk about the last reason why I hate this car. And that's because, if you've seen any of my other videos, you see that I like to go for quite realistic um, sort of builds. I don't um, go too fancy. I try and drive things that, you, you know, build things that you could actually drive. But I just could not make this look good. I couldn't find any combination of options, colours, customizations. I couldn't find anything that I could do that didn't make it look like a stinking turd I actually think I should paint it brown repaint it brown in honor of its turd status so we're coming up to the finish line and when we do I will pop the time on the screen but whatever it is please don't buy this car unless you really like how it looks then please save your money buy something better the Buffalo STX is also on offer uh, the week I'm making this video that's a much better car if you want a muscle car if you want a Buffalo go for the STX and that's that for this one I hope that was useful I'm now going to put this back in the garage and never use it again <laughs>